256. Hey, this is Jacob from Alabama. Jacob from the Valley Labor Report? Yes. Jacob uh, from Alabama, what's happening? Yeah, um, you were talking about uh, Katie Britt, and, you know, she, uh, it's funny that she did the State of the Union in that way, because when she ran, she was kind of posturing as like I'm the normal one, right? She was running against Mo Brooks for the Senate seat. And uh, she was Richard Shelby's chief of staff. She was president of the Business Council of Alabama. So she really comes from the more establishment wing of the party. And it's just kind of interesting for her to be going down this road, trying to angle for a, a Trump VP position. Well, that's, um, that's, that thought, would explain that would explain Charlie Kirk's issue. Uh, if she's mm. considered more in the establishment lane that Charlie Kirk, you know, was probably happy to see her sort of like boxed out. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that's probably it. Um, there, there was, I, I think if I'm remembering correctly, there was even like some McConnell super PAC money going around attacking Mo Brooks, supporting Katie Britt. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of a little bit of her backstory um, from Alabama. But I thought you might be interested in how the right wing radio people are, are trying to spin her performance. Here Definitely. So, I kid you not, the headline, so there's this one radio host who does like a daily newsletter, seven things you should be talking about today. And the headline for that one after the State of the Union, uh, the Friday morning, was uh, Biden bumbles State of the Union, Brit hits a home run. Okay. So. Um <laughs> That seems like not the general consensus whatsoever. Yeah, that, that's it, it's kind of difficult for me to believe that he actually believes that. Uh, but I, I thought it was you know pretty funny. And then with all of this other stuff coming out about uh, this trafficking story, they're basically just saying, well, trafficking is a problem. Are you saying that it's not a problem? All right, you're you're you are by pointing out, you know, the really grossness of utilizing this woman's story from under the Bush administration in a different country to attack Biden, what you're doing is demeaning the issue of sex trafficking. You want more sex traffickers. Is that and and it's just bizarre uh, the way that they're trying to spin this and make it out like, you know, oh, yeah, no, she did great. And it was great that she used this story. Um, and, you know, it, it's really it's just how can you make, you know, you've said the same about like Rush Limbaugh. How can you, right wing radio listener, feel good about being a right winger? Like, how can you justify it? Right. And that's it, it seems to me basically all that that has been. Yeah. I mean, I will say this like that. The Good luck trying to sell that outside of like a very, very small uh, group of people. I mean, nobody I find uh, very unlikely that people are going to uh, buy that if they were remotely close to it. And, and not the least of which, because there's a lot of other right wingers in that ecosphere who are saying the opposite. But appreciate the call, Jacob. Right. Folks can check out the uh, Valley Labor Report. How? Uh, TVLR.fm. You can find our website there. We're also on, on YouTube. Um, there were a couple of, of, uh, bills that, that you might, uh, that, and, and a couple of things about the legislative session that's about halfway through, you might be interested in as well. In, Al in Alabama? That. Yeah. Send me an email about it. I got to okay. I got to I appreciate it. Sure. All right. Bye. Folks, check out that show every Saturday, right? Saturdays? Yep. Great show. They do great stuff, particularly, uh, obviously, labor. I think they locked down a new radio station, too, recently.